1996 and newer vehicles are equipped with uh, onboard diagnostics and uh, 96 and newer is OBD2 which is a more advanced uh, onboard diagnostic than previously. So um, if your check engine light is on or ABS light or what have you, traction light, chances are if you don't know what the problem is, uh, your vehicle knows what the problem is. And with the Chrysler and Dodge, I'm not sure what year they started it, with uh, the fact that you can turn, you can do this, you can turn the key on three times within three seconds or something like that, so pretty quickly. One, two, three, turn the key on, and it'll tell you on the dash the problem code. We're going to do it on a Dodge Dakota today. We're going to, uh, let's say we don't know what the problem is, but there's a light on. Instead of uh, taking it to a garage or uh, whoever can scan your vehicle and tell you what the problem is or diagnose it, we're going to get the vehicle to diagnose itself and tell us more or less what the problem is. Okay, I'm in a 2000 Dodge Dakota. Uh, it's a 4.7 liter four door model, 4x4. Four four. And uh, it has some. When I start the vehicle, it has some lights on, including the brake light, ABS light, and engine, check engine light. And my door is ajar, apparently. There, okay. So, oil pressure is good, and the truck runs and drives good. So, here's a little secret if with the with a Dodge, Chrysler, Mopar, or some, uh, I don't, I'm not sure if Jeep and, Jeep and Chrysler, Mopar are the same or not, but anyway, here's something you can do if you don't have a scanner or a code reader to find out why these lights are on. So what you do is you stick your key in and you turn your key on and then off, on, off, on, and there's your error code there, P0442, P0445, and apparently that's it. So we have three lights and two codes. So <clears throat> uh, one of the codes is going to be, I think, is going to be for a speed sensor because when the brake and ABS light both come on at the same time it's, it's usually a speed sensor so w one, uh, one problem can cause those two lights to come on and I'm gonna go ahead and Google the, uh, the error codes and the vehicle itself specific to the vehicle so I'm gonna Google uh, let's say 2000 Dodge Dakota P045 whatever you know and what I'm going to find is that the other code is for an EVAP, EVAP leak or EVAP code, air code. So I think what it, this truck's going to need a speed sensor and it's got an EVAP leak. So that's just a way to check your, uh, to check your error codes if you don't have a scanner. So with this, uh, with these Chryslers, It'll, it'll tell you the error code and with the error code you can um, you can run the error code and the error code will tell you more or less what needs to be replaced or what the possibilities are so uh, it's pretty awesome I don't know if that works if GM's will do it or Ford's will do it I'm not sure but it's pretty awesome that you can do, you can diagnose the vehicle yourself 
Um, if you're trying to save a dollar or you just want an idea of what it might cost you or what have you, this is one way of doing it with the Chrysler product. It works with the 2000 Dakota, it works with the 2001 Chrysler PT Cruiser. It might work with Jeep products because Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, you know what I mean? I'm not sure exactly, but it definitely works on the Dakota and the PT Cruiser. So if you have a Dodge Chrysler um, in the 2000s, you should be able to use your key, turn it on uh, on three times, or on, off, on, off, on, and it uh, should display your codes. And you can use Google or the internet to find out exactly what's going on there most of the time. So, the Dakota only gave two problem codes, but it has three problem lights. Eh, my fingers aren't working right, they're cold. <laughs> Anyway, um, it only gave two problem codes, one of them relating to the check engine light, and the other code relates to the brake and ABS, so the, or, yeah, the brake light and ABS light, they're both on. So, being in a 2000, it's an older vehicle, I don't think it has traction control, but it does have ABS wheel speed sensors, which is part of the braking system. So one of the wheel speed sensors has gone bad or has a dirty connection and it's throwing on two lights. So the one problem causes two lights. So the ABS and brake light, that's only one issue. And it's not a very big issue, I don't think, a speed sensor. Usually there's one on the rear end and I can I do have a proper scanner so I can scan it and find out exactly which can find out exactly which speed sensor it is and I haven't even bothered running the codes yet usually when I run the scanner it'll tell me uh, exactly which one it is but with the error code it's just a number it's like P0455 or something like that so uh, I'm gonna have to double check the code and find out which sensor it is if it has rear ABS, it might be the rear sensor or one of the front ones. Sometimes the sensors are built into the wheel bearings, so it could be a wheel bearing. And that number will usually spe specify exactly which one it might be. And uh, same with the check engine light. It, it's, it gives an EVAP code for an EVAP leak which is a leak in the venting system for the fuel tank and the fumes from the fuel tank. And uh, the 2000, something that old, it's common for it to be a rubber hose cracked or maybe even a gas cap with a, a bad seal on the gas cap. 